News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, Hudson Mac is away tonight. A Duncan woman has survived a near drowning in the Cowichan River. She was trying to cross the rushing river on foot when the current knocked her down and swept her away. To the horror of witnesses on shore, they called 911 as she drifted downstream, finally disappearing from sight altogether. As CTV Scott Cunningham shows us, search crews say her ordeal should serve as a warning to others. Hypothermic, but alive. A Duncan woman is carried through deep brush to a waiting ambulance. Just one hour earlier, her future was not so certain. Uh, she was last seen um, at the tennis courts upriver from here and grasping at branches. So she had been swept away. Witnesses who called police say a middle-aged woman was trying to cross the quickly moving Cowichan River on foot. She underestimated um, how fast the river was going. The river swept her off her feet and she disappeared into its rapid freezing current. Search and rescue crews quickly mobilized, at first finding no sign of the woman. As they scoured the area, a group of hikers in McAdam Park heard screams from a wooded area. Those cries eventually led search and rescue volunteers to her side. She was very hypothermic. The river had beat her up quite a bit, the branches and the rocks, and she did have some, sustained some injuries. The woman had clawed at the river's edge as she was dragged nearly 100 meters downstream. Losing strength and hypothermic, she was finally able to free herself from the river's icy grip, struggling onto the shoreline. Rivers and streams on Vancouver Island aren't grabbing headlines like many swollen waterways are in BC's interior. But that doesn't mean rivers here should be underestimated. And particularly on the island, rivers can respond pretty quickly, so you can see rapid rises. And in terms of flooding, there's no real concerns on the island, but certainly being cautious around rivers during the snowmelt period is good. Cowichan Search and Rescue is extending a similar warning, saying this incident could have ended much worse, and waterways up and down Vancouver Island should be given the respect they deserve. People really need to be aware that the water is capable of moving a lot more of you, of anything, than it looks like. The rescued woman was taken to hospital with hypothermia and a possibly broken ankle, but is expected to make a full recovery. Scott Cunningham, CTV News.